Um, so today, Liv, what's the theme directly around? Um, I think we're going to talk about branding and uh, systematizing marketing for a growing team. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll, and, there's and, a lot. I was going to say, and for a lot of you, I, I think uh, specifically around the topic of marketing, there's two types of marketing. There's, mm -hmm. there's the marketing of, of your trying to generate business. And then there's marketing of the, the agent, the company. Um, and, and a lot of teams focus so much on lead generation that they forget that, that they also have a, a responsibility and an opportunity to market the agent and Siri, um, and Olivia, what they've done, um, from a marketing, the brand and the name of their company, the brand, um, I, I think they're doing it on a level that's, that's, uh, that is, is above most any that I've seen out there with any team. And so you guys are in for some good treats on just seeing what they're doing. Thanks, yeah. Jordan. I know. Thank you. Wow. Yes. I'm taking the rest of the day off. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, first of all, as you can see, Liv and I get along really well. She's, oh, yeah. she's my little bestie with stuff. We, we really have a great relationship. So <clears throat> I'm going to give you a quick little backstory. Um, and so when I started the team roughly five-ish years ago, I was the one that was in Canva doing some of those things and ask Liv, I am not very good at it. <laughs> you can be honest. Oh yeah. No, that's, yep. You have your strengths <laughs> and I have mine. So that's why we yes. work together. <laughs> yes. But I still did it, right? Because I yes. think like with anything, you have to still at least start somewhere and you have to do it. So my next step in the process was I actually went on onlinejobs.ph and how many of you guys are familiar with that website? <clears throat> Drop it in the chat if you guys know what that is. Um, also, Jordan put in there who's doing marketing branding at a high level because I'd love to see who else is on here that can also help to you know increase the conversation with the, with what they're doing. But what I did was I went on onlinejobs.ph and I found just kind of scoured through. I found a virtual assistant who is actually still with us today. We'll go into a little bit of that. Um, and he ended up taking over a lot of those kind of visual things for me. And so, yes, there was a lot of me back and forth telling him what I wanted, what I wanted things to look like. Um, you have to put in that effort. There's no easy button on that stuff. You do have to put in that effort. Um, and then as you go, you start to say, well, how can I systematize this? And so then fast forward, what, maybe a couple years into the team, um, I started to realize that that level that I wanted to be at was just not quite there. I also was struggling a little bit with, with him in general, um, but we've worked all of that out. But anyways, I ended up being introduced to Liv, who was a marketing director over at another um, team. And she came over and she started making us pretty. So Liv, I don't know if I'll, I'll kind of let you pick it up from there. Um, one thing I do want to add is I was actually told by someone like, can you afford this? Should you do this? Like, what, <laughs> what are you doing? Because it's obviously a big cost. I went from paying $5 an hour to my VA to then paying a lot more money for somebody like Liv to be able to make things come alive and look pretty but it's worth every penny, every investment, every penny um, to be able to have somebody like this to really make your visions come alive and to look good to people. So most most people, by the way, are visual. Most humans are visual. So you have to remember that in your business too when you're when you're looking at your marketing. So live. Absolutely. Um, hey, and if you guys don't have your screens on, we'd love to see your faces if, if possible. Um, we know that some of you are probably just in your pajamas in bed still, but we'd like to see yes. your face. Yes, we would please. love to see you. Um, oh, look at there's a whole crew right there. Um, yeah, hey. <laughs> um, all right. Well, thanks, Siri. Yes. So I've been with Siri since uh, 2021, and we've definitely gone through our fair share of rebrands and changes and um, a lot of different challenges and trying to figure out our branding, but also it's been a lot of fun kind of finding what our vision is and what our voice is. 
And if you guys were on the first meeting, uh, Teams Gone Wild with Siri and Jordan, they were talking about their two or their different plans. So they have like a 12K or a, sorry, a branding team and then a regular um, agent team who would basically just represent like for us, we're the brand realty. We do have an option where agents can have their own brand in addition to ours. So it's been really cool just to kind of create this vision um, with Siri and with everybody else. So I'm going to show, oh, I don't have the ability to share my screen right now. Oh. Um, Real, can we get a, a live to be able to share a screen? So I'll just um, kind of jump in to um, how we've systematized it. As Siri mentioned, we have a VA. His name is June Ray. Um, and I will be honest, that has been a relationship that has taken a while to nurture and to figure out. Um, but now we meet every day, 4 p.m. We go through his project board. I'm checking in on what he's doing. Um, and we have just a really good re working relationship where he can kind of offset some of the monotonous tasks, especially as we're growing. We have more agents coming onto the team. Um, it needs to be scalable. And even though I am a bit of a control freak and would love to do all of the marketing and every single <laughs> for every single thing, um, it's been really nice to have him to um, to kind of work together. So. We have your co-host now. You can share. Uh, awesome. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to share my screen here. Um, and if you guys have any questions, of course, just. Yeah, in. feel free. Um, you know, the, again, this is a mastermind, too. So you guys feel free to just raise your hand, jump in and ask some questions along the way as well. And do you guys use Canva for a lot of your stuff? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are a big Canva team. Um, that's definitely what seems to be most user friendly for agents. And yeah, it just, they have everything there. So um, one important thing that we, that I wanted to work with Siri on um, when I first started and through our rebrands and everything was creating a style and a branding identity for the team. So that we look consistent across, you know, all platforms. Um, before we joined Real, um, you know, it we had our own brand. And we were just we were trying to do a lot of things, and there was just inconsistent branding out there. So what we did is streamlined. You know, we have our brand fonts, we have our brand colors, we have kind of styles below. I like to give the teams examples of photos to use. Um, and really just trying to provide like a, a good shell of, you know, how to guide them because a lot of agents come to us and they're like, I have no idea how to brand. I don't know where to start. I don't know how to do any of this. So by providing them with a branding guide like this, it kind of helps them get started. They can add all these colors into their Canva account. And, um, yeah, so it's just really helped us kind of streamline and make that vision super clear to everybody. So, and we're going to share this with you guys too. We have a couple little nuggets that we'll mm -hmm. go over. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. So the next thing that we built, um, so we started building this huge library of templates. And, you know, I would create a template and then send it out to the team on Slack. And they were kind of all just floating everywhere. Then they moved into a Google Doc and they were just, it was just like a bunch of links. Nobody could see what it was, um, but they were there. Um, and so, like Siri said, um, most people are visual. And especially when it comes to marketing graphics and business cards and guides and everything else, um, it's really important that people can just see what they want and click on it. So um, with the help of June Ray, um, our marketing assistant, um, him and I have worked together to build out this marketing suite. So this has really helped us kind of go from here to here because now agents don't have to waste as much time trying to create templates from scratch 
or trying to guess, you know, figure out how to make a social media post or anything like that. I mean, it's all in here for them to use. Is, um, is, this, a, is this a website, like a backlink on your website or? Yes, it is. Um, and it's actually, I can open it up here. So I'm going to say the name. We have a website called Hey Siri, and it will set off all of your devices if you say it out loud. Um, <laughs> so uh, my backend screen looks a little different since I'm an admin. But anyway, this is, um, it's kind of like our agent resource page that we have. I think we had shared, um, Siri, you might have shared this in the beginning. Um, but this is sort of my little my baby, this site, trying to get all these agent resources together. So again, we've just kind of created everything that the agents could possibly need because that's a huge value add that we've, um, for agents, basically joining the team. They love having this stuff readily available so they can literally click on something. Um, they want to see different open house signs. Um, and then it goes into the templates if they like you know, one of these, they can click on it, zoom in, see what it looks like, or they can just download it and then it's going to open a template in Canva for them. Um, and they can just fill out the information and um, post it. And Liv, maybe, it, maybe it, show it, the it, listing signs too. So I want to mm -hmm. talk on that a little yeah, bit. Yeah. At the top, you had like a, a booklet. Yes. Uh, now, is that like in Canva? You could order a booklet. Well, uh, that's a great question. So we have, um, this is one of the things that we do provide for the team are these buyer and seller guides, the actual printed copies. So we do have the physical copies. There are agents though, it's generic to the team. So there isn't um, like a, an agent, if I were to like give it to a client, it wouldn't have my information in the back of it. So what we've done is created a version that allows the agents to put their own contact information and then they can order it if they choose um, or they can send a digital PDF version. Um, and actually Jordan, you gave us the idea of a flip book, um, which is so cool. Um, and that's basically like a digital magazine. We also just released the Spanish version too. Mm -hmm. um, so that was helpful for some of the agents on the team, but yeah, so the, the agents can take this flip book and they can just send this out. Love it. To their clients. Yeah. yeah. So this is another option for them as well. And, um, so yeah, we've just got a bunch of different options in here for them. Um, business cards, uh, Siri mentioned, we have our listing signs here. So uh, click on those live because I want to talk a little bit about just kind of our branding mm -hmm. um, and different options. So we have a lot of different options for the agents to choose from. Um, do we have scroll down? Do we have the ones with for the branding team? Uh, oh, yes. Like for the 12. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So these are like a co-branded option. So <clears throat> these are for agents that are on the $12,000 cap option. And so they are able to basically have their own logo if they want up top. Um, the, the thing about our branding team though, is they, I mean, we have some agents and Liv is gonna show you some more stuff around that, but we have some agents that literally just create their own stuff completely. Yeah. Like it's, it doesn't, it's not any of ours, but we do, there you go. Um, but we do want to provide an option for them to be able to do that. So you can see George here. This is actually, I think this is his for sale sign, right? That he made. It is. Yeah. It's his listing sign. Yeah. So I think he took our design a little bit mm -hmm. and then he just kind of tweaked it and added some stuff in there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yep. And then, um, Thomas just actually posted this, um, last night he did his, so you can see he's got the brand here and then real. Um, and then Sam, this, um, this is his logo. I love Sam's. Yeah. yeah. So Sam's from England, obviously. <laughs> but I think that one's so cool. Yeah. And then Christian. So, um, there's definitely been a draw, uh, for agents that really want to have some of their own, their own identity and their own branding. So it's been really cool to kind of develop this branch of our team. And um, I work with the agents directly and helping them kind of find their brand and fine tune it and 
figure out what colors they like. Some people like Thomas come with their logos already in place. And so if that's the case, that's totally fine. Um, it's really about the agents and, you know, being authentic to their brand. We don't want to like put them into, um, a box they don't want to be in necessarily, but of course we do try to, um, you know, just help make sure that they're looking their best out there. Yeah. Uh, when, so, when people and, order these booklets or these signs, uh, how does your team structure? Are you guys paying for this or, or what is it? I, I understand they can come here and, and click on stuff and order stuff, but who's paying mm -hmm. for it? How's that structure? Yeah. So, um, for the listing signs, um, the ones with their own names on it, the agents are required to purchase their own. And then we have, you know, our D sign sign up here. So agents can go in here once they've downloaded or created their design, they can order directly from our sign company. Um, we also do provide generic team signs. Like we have team open house signs, but again, though, like the number on that sign goes back to our main office and goes through our calling tree. Um, of course, if somebody calls in, um, you know, on somebody's property on our team, we try to channel it back to them. But um, if agents want their own number, their own website, their own name on a listing sign, then they order that themselves. And same thing with the buyers and seller guides. If they want their own information on there, then they order those. But we do provide the generic versions of them that are like team based. Yeah. And someone asked, and I, you may have covered this live, but we do get these uh, booklets printed mm -hmm. and we have them in the office and we have them so that they're in like these really nice folders. Um, and then, um, Ashley, who's our, one of our operations assistants, she makes sure that every week those are out for agents to be able to grab and have those ready. So same thing, like for a listing appointment, we have those folders all ready for them to go so that they can just easily pick those up and go to their appointment so they don't have to think about those things. I mean, they can add extra little, you know, things. Um, actually, we just released, this is me just kind of thinking, we just released the listing checklist too, which um, we'll be putting in that folder. So Liv, do you have that one? That might be fun. I do, too. yes. Um, okay, I feel like I'm gonna be really exposed here. Siri always is trying to tell me to clean up Canva, but this uh -huh. is the, a, the creative brain here. It's a yeah. shit show, um, but somehow it works for me. Um, <laughs> so um, anyway, let's see, what were we looking for? We need the listing good. checklist? Yes. I think Lauren, Lauren just finished that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we're working together on this. Yeah, um, so we're we're big on checklists, but pretty checklists, right? Like we want to make sure that whatever we provide to the agents is very easy to read and it gives them just a really nice roadmap for them to be able to to show up. So these are going to start going in those folders for the agents to be able to to know exactly what to do when they have a listing. And so mm -hmm. this is just released here. Yeah. Um, and I saw um, Crystal ask where we ordered the folders from. Um, I think it's a company called Company Folders. Um, I um, I can also share a link. I'll do a um, Google Doc, add it to the resource guide that we put in um, with all that information um, to hopefully save you or your marketing person a big headache. It's one of those things that some of these things just take a lot of trial and error it's like we've ordered i've ordered um open house signs with um no arrows on them then i ordered open house signs um with arrows only pointing one direction um so it has been a big trial and error <laughs> um siri is very patient with me and understanding we usually try to order small first make sure everything is okay gary usually when we get something new in the office likes to say to me oh you spelled yep. the brand realty wrong. And I'm like, Gary freaks me out. So um, anyway, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, hey, Liv, Liv, here's a question for you. Um, so I understand that you can make everything look pretty. Uh, are you, are you an agent as well? I'm so no, I'm not. Okay. So, so building this list probably didn't come like from your knowledge of being a right. real estate agent. So are you interviewing agents or how are you gathering yes. the information needed so that you can make this actually the most helpful for all agents? 
Yeah. Liv, can, um, I, can I talk on this one? Yeah, actually? absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So that's a good question. I was, I was thinking about that. So um, we have on the team what's called an agent advisory. It's our AA team. Um, we always kind of laugh because we have our AA meetings every once in a while. But um, we have a Slack channel where we ask them or, and we have our meetings. We ask them different things. And so a lot of this actually came from our agents input. And we would say, hey, when you want a list appointment, give us all your information. And so uh, Lauren is our listing coordinator. You'll meet her at some point too. But between Lauren and Liv, and then I'll kind of let you take it from here, how you guys work together yeah. on that. Yeah, um, really, um, you know, Lauren and our operations director, Keely, kind of took this over gathering the information. And then usually I just try to come in at the end and help. Um, sometimes I'll help with wording, verbiage of things, or just trying to make it look consistent with our brand. Um, but really, that's all I had to do with this. This was um, really Lauren and Keely, but it's um, a great system. We have a lot of agents. Um, we use Slack. Uh, we have a, a form that agents can fill out if there's marketing ideas that they have uh, that they want to share or materials that they would like to see. Um, a lot of agents don't listen and they just like to ping me directly, which is fine. We tried to create a system around <laughs> getting all those marketing requests. Um, so you know, if an agent's like, hey, you know, I'd really love a listing sign with more picture spots on it, then, you know, we go ahead and create something like that. Usually we try to make that happen. Hey, Steve um, had a good question for the Canva stuff. Yeah. 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 Uh, it says, do you, Steve said, do you need a paid Canva account for all your agents or just the primary account where all the assets are? Okay. Great question. Um, and this is a hurdle that we've also been kind of experiencing. So a lot of the assets that we built our templates with are um, paid. <laughs> they are the paid version. <laughs> That's true, Steve. Um, uh, and so what we actually started doing is we have a stock account, Adobe stock account. So a lot of the photos you'll see over here, um, I've uploaded. So these are really nice. Um, branded photos that agents can use and they're not going to run into an issue. Like if they don't have a paid account, you know, it has the little like, like this, basically it has the little hatches across it and it's like, um, you know, they can't use it since they don't have a paid account. So we used to, at one point before we got, you know, to the size that we're at now, all the agents had access to our Canva account. Um, and so everybody could just use one account. Um, we really try to help the agents as much as we can offset any cost, but it just turned into a nightmare. And then some agents would be like, Oh, look at this template. You know, I'm like in the middle of working on a template and suddenly it has like Pam's name on it and her picture. I'm like, Whoa, Whoa, Whoa. I just, you know, whatever. So, um, yeah, so now we create the templates for everybody to use, um, with stock images that we've paid for. Love it. Uh, yeah. I did um, want to talk a little bit about um, our, we have a tame Canva. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, so, okay. Sorry, I'm reading the chat and I'm very genuinely ADHD. Um, so, so unclear, all agents have paid sub accounts. Um, okay. Yeah. So um, they are not a sub, like part of our actual team. Like they're not members, sub members. They all have their own accounts completely separate and they can make a decision if they want to upgrade to pro or not. Yeah. Um, so another thing that I wanted to talk about, which I think has been a really cool value add for our agents. Um, and really helped them kind of take their marketing to the next level is our system with uh, listing posts and testimonial posts and um, birthday and welcome to the team. Uh, as Jordan said, a really important part of 
being a team is to show off and brag about your agents and really give them that attention that they deserve. They are a big part of, I mean, they're our team. Oh, look, there's Siri. Um, me. <laughs> so I will just show you quickly. Um, so every time we have an agent join the team, there's basically like a series of tasks that go out. So, um, and they will go over to June Ray. We use monday.com and it will have him make a birthday post, which looks like this down here. He'll make and schedule it out and we use sendable. And so that way we don't have to think about it again. And then we have our welcome to the team post. And we usually post those like every couple of weeks. We usually wait um, and kind of you do want them. to show that one, Liv? Maybe yeah, we kind one. of do it in batches. So to welcome people to the team, we have a little slideshow thing that just kind of shows everybody. Um, but again, it's been an important step is creating that system. So that way there's not a bunch of different things kind of flailing around, but we're all trying to like chase around. Um, of course, we're human, things happen. We're like, hey, you didn't post this one agent <laughs> that just joined the team. So things do happen, but we really um, try to create systems that are have like a safety net to protect against stuff like that. Um, and a cool thing that we have is that, um, so if we have an agent who has a new listing, that goes live, our listing coordinator will send it out to everybody in Slack and send the link to the listing. Um, from there, that's basically my own trigger to then go into Canva. And then I will make a just listed post. And then I share that on the team marketing channel. I'll put a caption in there so that everybody can just copy it and paste it. And what it's allowed us to do is get more eyes on our agents' listings, but also help some of our newer agents who don't have that traction yet, they don't have any listings yet, um, but they really wanna build a presence on social media. Um, it allows them to kind of you know, get involved. They're posting other agents' listings and stuff like that. So- um, Liv, do you wanna show the Slack on it? Yeah. Do you wanna show maybe? Maybe show, yeah, show that and show the marketing, um, the marketing channel. Um, I, out of curiosity, and just to hear some voices too, how many of you guys have a marketing or creative director on your team? Or is it you or is anybody, anybody have that? My virtual assistant is, but okay. she's everything. <laughs> But she does amazing for me with all of my marketing. So this is going to be very helpful information for her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And sometimes yeah. that's it too. Sometimes you have like one person that does everything for you, like an assistant that's doing all of this stuff. Right. And that's great too. Liv, have you ever considered living in Colorado? I went to school in Colorado. <laughs> you know what? Know. Okay, right so now. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, uh -oh. actually, okay, so let me let me say, okay, Jordan, stop it. Let me say <laughs> that I like this Liz, is good. <laughs> go to the highest no, bidder. Go to the highest bidder. <laughs> um, so let me just say though that Liv, when she started, she lived in Carlsbad, which is where we are. And she moved and I actually got the news last year when I was in Ireland and I didn't sleep all night. I was like, oh my gosh, she's like leaving me. <laughs> um, but she lives up in LA, not too far. She does come down, um, you know, basically once a month. But the thing is, is that we can do all of this stuff virtually. Thank goodness, right? My listing coordinator for the team lives in Oregon. So um, just to kind of let you all know that if you find talent, they they don't necessarily need to be right there with you. You can find talent and accomplish these things anywhere. And we figured out how to do it. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. There's a lot of like, if you put a, an advertisement out on Indeed or something, you know, you yeah. can get a whole bunch of people from different, different states. So I actually have to say the way that I met Liv was I was on our team meeting and I said, you guys, we need a, we need a marketing coordinator. And uh, Lauren, our listing coordinator had worked with Liv in the past. And she's like, I, I know someone, let me reach out to her. <laughs> so put that stuff out there. Yeah. Put that stuff out there and, and you never know who you're going to find too, just internally with the people that, you know, so yeah. Um, 
Yeah. So let's show a couple of our Slack channels just to show you guys. Yeah. What we okay. Here. Um, so one of my favorite colors is pink. Again, I feel a little bit exposed. So I have my whole Slack in pink, um, kind of embarrassing as well as my Chrome profile, but <laughs> Anyway, so this is our marketing channel. Um, and you can see here, this is June Ray, my marketing BFF. Um, we, I will send him, so Keeping Current Matters, um, I'm sure all of you are very familiar. Um, they've got a bunch of great, you know, they've got great posts on there, but um, style-wise, it doesn't really fit with our branding. So usually what I have him do, if there's a post that I see is really good, I'll, um, copy it or download it and I add it to his Monday, Monday board. And then I say, you know, can you rebrand this for him? Um, and again, it's a working relationship with him. It's kind of goes back and forth. Sometimes, you know, he sends me stuff back. I'm like, ah, that's not it, but he started that process. So that way I can kind of pick it up from there and be like, okay, this was a great start. And then I'll kind of go in and add my tweaks to it. Um, but you know, so then, you know, they have the captions on there again, we want to make it as easy for agents as possible to post stuff. Um, this is like one of the biggest things that I hear from agents. Um, is like, I just don't know what to post. I don't know how to create this stuff. I don't know how to post. So we try to eliminate all of those barriers for them. And we have a, um, an events calendar that we send out to everybody um, before the month's end, just so they can email it out to clients. Um, we just did a fun team custom ink order, kind of like real does. And so here's an example of a listing. So I'll shout out the agent who made the listing and then I'll drop all the listing photos in there. And then in the following message, I provide a caption so they can literally just go in here and copy it, paste it into their Instagram. Hey, Don. <clears throat> nice to see you. Same last name, girlfriend. Um, yes. Um, uh, June Ray is our VA and, um, he's the first one that I hired. So when I was, when I was talking earlier about that and my journey, June Ray was the one that worked with me before Liv came along and now he is her assistant. Um, and then do we pay for Slack? We actually do pay for Slack because we're so robust in it. I mean, we, our Slack is, pretty important. We eat, team. sleep, we have, and breathe in here for sure. <laughs> yeah. There's 80 to 90 of us in there. And so it's, it, we just have to have a place for everybody. As you can see all the different channels, different channels. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. just on, on that note is Slack basically essential with being a hybrid virtual team or uh, from a communication standpoint. I'm sorry. I yeah. missed that. Yeah. Is it essential if you have a hybrid team? I think so. Because here's the thing. We have agents, too, who are in uh, several counties, not just San Diego. So um, obviously, Zoom's, Zoom's great, too. And then Slack is very important for us to be able to have expansion. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I love Slack for my team, not to go down that rabbit hole, but I just highly recommend it. The huddles I use constantly with my we do that. virtual assistant. It's mm -hmm. instead of jumping on Zoom, I just huddle with everybody through the Slack. It's it I highly recommend it. It's yeah, it's Slack. Really cool. Yeah, Slack has a huddle feature. I think you have to pay to upgrade, but like the girls and I were all on just right before this. Is, so the leadership what, team. Can you gets describe on. huddle? Like what do you mean by huddle? I can share my yeah. screen and show you. You want to show the leadership yeah. maybe <clears throat> um so we get on every morning at 7 45 and there's you can see there's five of us in this particular channel and um we get on and so there's a i don't know what it is on oh right there because i'm used to oh, it on okay. my phone it's not gonna let me um, show but basically you push a button and you just jump on and you start talking can it be um, video you can do, as well you can yeah. do, you can do video too okay. yeah yeah yeah, so we jump on every morning, 745, the five of us in leadership, and then we we just roll through our day to make sure that everybody is just, you know, aware of everything going on. Does, chit -chat a minute. Every, it lasts us maybe 10, 15 minutes. Does every participant have to have a paid plan or just the team? You do. Yeah. What does it yeah. cost for so, user? 
uh, what is it live? I don't know, 10, $12, something like that a month or whatever. Um, it's definitely a cost that you have to decide if you want to do that or not. But again, to have just the cohesiveness of the unity of the team, it's, it's mm -hmm. worth it for us. So we've, we've decided sure. that's worth the cost. Then you're not chasing down zoom links. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, well, you'd be surprised. Um, yeah, we put zoom links in the calendar and Slack. We'd send it via carrier pigeon and people would still be like, where's the Zoom link? Um, so, <laughs> but it definitely uh, helped. Ashley, Don, Don, I struggle with Marco. Ask Jordan. <laughs> um, yeah, we don't, we don't really use Marco on the team. We use Slack. Um, maybe Liv show the reminder channel. That's another mm -hmm. good one. And you can actually in Slack build out workflows. So you can have reminders that go out to your agents when different things are coming up so that they know when to jump on. So this this one here at the bottom, Ashley, so after our meeting, so we did our 745 this morning, Ashley's on, she's our ops assistant. Um, she'll jump on and just go through the day and make sure that the agents have that. So that's actually her doing that. But if you scroll up, you can see these other things that we have in here that are reminders that are going off with the Zoom links in here. Um, they obviously still have this stuff on their calendar, on their team calendars as well. But these are reminders that are going off at the same time too. So we kind of hit them at all angles. Something that I think is really nice about Slack as well is um, you can do searches. So it just will continually to grow. Like I, I'll tell the new agents that we're onboarding or, or mentees, like go into Slack and go at the top and do a search about whatever, whatever it might mm -hmm. be. You know, why Lopo? You have a question about why Lopo or something like that pop it in there and you're going to find an answer. And, and as time goes on, it keeps growing and there'll be videos. There'll be all kinds of information in there that, which is really pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Gary uses this cause he has his mentor group. So um, he'll send out, you know, I've seen him well in the morning, he'll say, here's the calls. Cause our agents, when they onboard are supposed to make 500 calls um, and he'll put that in there in the morning or he'll say, you know, send me an RPA and here's all the information that I need you to do because they have to do a few RPAs to kind of graduate from onboarding. So you use Slack um, for all that, Gary. Mm -hmm. um, and then Crystal, one of the questions, have you guys ever tried a workplace account versus Slack? Um, I mean, obviously we're in workplace for real. Um, and then we have Slack for our team. So it does create for me personally, a lot of places that I have to go and look. Um, I, I probably spend an hour a day just trying to like, make sure I'm trying to go through all the messages that are coming in. I personally find that Slack is a lot easier. Um, it's just when you have these threads and I'm, I just have to have things very organized. Workplace is okay, but I think Slack is a lot better personally. That's my preference. Yeah, we're pretty, um, at this point, pretty ingrained with like, with Slack too. I think to make that change would be pretty time intensive. Yeah. Not, you know, it's, I feel like agents yeah. slap us across the face if we ask them to change a the system <laughs> again. Yeah, another uh, thing too, and, and just, you know, to kind of, I guess, go off onto Slack stuff is the notifications can go crazy if you can imagine that many people. Um, so we've done several trainings on, and we have videos on how to turn different channels off or, or things like that, or, or, you know, we see agents will try to help them to get a little bit of control over their slack as well, because it, it can be, it can be pretty, um, it can be pretty crazy <laughs> on the slack channels. Um, yeah. And the other thing is Liv brought up the Monday and our project boards, and we are going what I we were talking about this yesterday about what we wanted to show you all and I want to go deep on how we use Monday are you all familiar with Monday I mean it's like Asana um, Trello so it's project management and so um, we're going to have another we'll have another webinar where we'll go into our Monday it's also mixed with Zapier so if any of you have used or know what Zapier is. I think we have almost 100 Zaps now. I don't know, we have a lot of them. But basically we'll say, how can we never have to do this again? Like that's how our mind thinks, is how can we set something up so that like, for example, when a new person onboards onto the team, how does that trigger into Monday so that Junray has a task, that Liv has a task, that all these things happen 
by a form, right? So we'll take a form and then we'll have all that stuff zap in and it goes on these project boards. So that's kind of a next level step that we definitely want to make sure that we're um, showing you guys some of the back end of those things. Um, but we use Monday and Zapier pretty heavily. Mm -hmm. And we had to learn this stuff. It's, we just had to learn it. It's not like we knew a lot of this stuff. We just, yeah. Knew. Yeah. I mean, really it's been what, like two years of, since I've been working with you, Siri, of building it from the ground up. And, um, you know, I am always like yesterday, I think it was yesterday, Siri and I had our marketing meeting together. We usually meet like once a week to check up on projects and see where, how everything's progressing. Um, and I'm trying to remember what it was specifically, but I was like, oh, we were talking about MailChimp and updating MailChimp list. And I'm always like, oh, I'll just remember to do it. You know, that's my first instinct. I'll just write it down on a piece of paper that I'll probably lose in 20 minutes. Um, so Siri is really good about always being like, no, let's get a system in place. Um, and she's totally right because I can't rely on my short term memory <laughs> for that kind of stuff. So that's how these things have been kind of built. It's like, okay, that's probably going to be a lot to remember in a month that you need to go in and update this list or that you need to go in and um, post a uh, welcome to the team at the beginning of the month or like, so there's all these different reminders. I have um, calendar reminders and we have like a special marketing calendar that series also copied on. So it kind of helps us stay on track. She'll be like, hey, you know, we have our newsletter draft, you know, supposed to be seeing that on Thursday, are we on pace to see, you know, the draft. So, um, I think having that sort of accountability, especially with marketing, there are so many cool things out there to do. I wish I could do them all at once. Siri and I always wish we could do all of them at once. Um, I usually I'll see something like another team's doing and I'm like, Oh, I want this now. I want to build this for us. So um, it's definitely um, good to kind of keep those projects tracked and organized. Yeah. Hey, want to so throw it out real quick, uh, just for questions that anybody yeah. has, uh, not just with the chat, but you want to turn your microphone on. I saw that Jennifer raised her hand. Um, is anybody else uh, in addition? You can go yeah. ahead, Jennifer. But if anybody else, has she a didn't question. mean to. I was like, I don't think oh. so. Jen. Jen's on our team. I'm oh, like, okay. <laughs> I was like, Jen, you does have anybody have any? Questions? I mean. We want this to be interactive as much as possible. So does anybody yes. have any questions that they have for Liv? Or Siri or just anything. Yeah, anything you guys can think of around marketing? I have I have one question. I, I think that um, I'd love to hear how you've seen the marketing, uh, all, all the the you know the listing guides and the checklist and the cool post how has it helped your business grow um, I, I have some i have some thoughts that i think most team leaders are think thinking typically but i want to hear you guys say it well i can chime in i think that it helps our business grow because it helps our agents grow um by giving them these materials that they can take out there and use um anytime that we can save them from having to build a template or write a checklist down is time that they can be out there in the field actually doing what they need to be doing. So making that really accessible and efficient for them and beautiful. <laughs> we like to make it look good too. Um, I think has helped our business grow tremendously. But Sierra, yeah. I'll let you speak on that too. Yeah, I think that's the most important. I think also then like Liv said, it keeps a con conducive style for all of us too. So, you know, people here in San Diego know the brand, they know what it looks like. They, they just know who we are. And so it just keeps everything clean and tidy and organized. Um, but first and foremost is how can we make the agents lives a lot easier because marketing typically for agents is very hard to just think of creating a template. It's just too much. Too much well, and I think typically not everybody's wired or gifted in such a way that they can make something look really, really good. So I, I think there's a lot of reasons why marketing is really important for teams. And it's usually not the first thing that a team is going to invest in um, because it's a, it's a, you know, you, you, you have to build the foundation you gotta, you gotta frame the house and you gotta put a roof on it and then you gotta furnish it and then you decorate it. Right. 
and and it's usually like the last investment. Um, but ultimately, it for any team leader on here, I mean, I think Compass is a um, case study that beautiful branding attracts agents. So if you want to grow your team, have great branding, have mm -hmm. great marketing. It works. Yeah. People are willing to give Compass crazy amounts of their commission for really nothing other than to have a beautiful logo and, and great branding. Um, yeah. And so that's a one, it's going to help you grow your business as a team leader. But at the end of the day, it's going to help each agent grow their business by having better um, branding, social media communication. Um, it's going to help their sphere based business. Um, it's something that, um, like I said earlier, it's, it's not the first thing that often we invest in because it's, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of investment. Um, but it's it's absolutely necessary, and it's something that we haven't uh, focused heavily on, but it's something that we're investing heavily into right now. Um, Jordan, would you like to maybe just take a few minutes too to talk about community and what you guys are doing there? Um, well, I, I think uh, I mean I think it's such a it's such a shift in topic that um, I mean I think we can do a deep dive with. with I my see stuff. Emily on here. Emily. I think we can um, we can deep dive on my stuff. Well, if you want. what I I stuff. mean, what I like about what you've done, and so just to kind of pull it back, so I'm not going to let you get away from this one. Mm -hmm. um, what I've liked when I look at your branding for community, I love the little people. Um, Liv, do we have that on the slide? Let's show it real fast. The community, yes, yes, because <sighs> you're you're onto something here, and so. Um, you may not have a marketing department in place yet, right? That's on your goals to get this in place, right? So I think it's actually a good example of a, a very efficient team that's done a very good job at building your agents and your community. Um, and now, and you didn't have this market, you don't have this marketing, right? But you're working on it. Uh, yeah, we're, so we're, we're hiring a, I mean, you know, I think the aha for, for a lot of people should be, just looking around like it, what is the common denominator between most um great real estate businesses and they have a massive uh creative marketing department and so um but uh it, I, I can show something too that might kind of breathe more life into what community is can i can i share my screen what i and what i love is that logo that we yes. just had up there which you'll show too is that did you notice it's the little people in the eye and yes, the T? and that's I just did. creative you marketing you know i right? love that stuff i'm like I all about, I'm like what's all the intricacies of a brand i think is so cool um, so um what we have and i'll share my screen real quick um and and this is like more of a deep dive i think but um like it's always been my heart to uh not just like I, I think you know, I was talking to this team leader last night and he's he's honestly really, really successful. And a lot of, we were talking, the topic was a lot of team leaders come to us and say, man, I want to build a team and and I'm going to make a bunch of money. And the question's always like, all right, what are you going to do for your agents? Well, I'm going to build a team and they're going to make me a lot of money. Okay, what are you going to do for your agents? Like, what are you doing for their business? Because the, the, the only way to grow a team is if the team leader is, only focused on growing other people's businesses. That's the that's the exchange of growth and that's the exchange of expansion. And so as we've grown as a team, it's become clear to me that that we need to create bigger runways and bigger pathways for people to grow their businesses if that's what they want. And so we've basically taken all of our all the things that we've built, the systems, the the staff, the processes, um, transaction management, listing support, past client care, inside sales, lead generation, um, leadership, training, coaching, all of it. And we've kind of rebranded it into a different thing. And I'll show my screen of what that looks like. Um, and I got I got Tony on this call too, because he's part of this a little bit. Um, so community is something that used to, leads, leadership, and leverage used to live within the team, but we expanded it and pulled it back. And now we're presenting it in such a way that it could be available to other teams. It could be available to uh, Johnny, the agent, or Rachel, the realtor. Um, primarily, all of this is supporting my team right now. And that's all, it's what it always has been. But this as a, as a function head is something that can serve other entities. But primarily, it's for the agents on my team, if they want to move on and just be a branded agent with their own branding, or if they want to move on and create their own team, 
we can continue to support that. Um, everything's earned, nothing's given, but we want people to have a pathway to continue to grow their business. And so community is really all about um, getting behind the agent and lifting them up. And so that's that's a big project that we've been working on internally um, of, of expanding my world. My world is the Jordan Terrell group, <clears throat> but expanding it to make it something bigger so that more people can grow their worlds bigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really yeah. cool. Um, and I'm, there are a few questions really quickly that I saw come in. Um, one I saw from Jess asking about um, our returns, like if it's Facebook, Insta, print. Um, we do paid advertising. You know, we have uh, YLOPO that does our PPC. Um, I'm sure many of you guys um, use that as well. And then we'll do paid ads on Instagram and Facebook. Um, in terms of our team attraction though, attracting agents, um, a lot of the agents, when we ask how you've heard of the team is social media. Um, they're like, oh, I saw you guys on Instagram. It looks so cool. Everything that you guys are doing. Um, so again, I feel like um, like Siri mentioned, it can be kind of an intimidating role to bring on just because you're like, oh, how, you know, do I really like, can, can I utilize this person full time for something? And there's so much to do and it makes a difference. You know, people see that um, strength in your brand and in your team and you're really showing them kind of what's behind the door. Um, people love to see that. So one of the things, or a couple of things that we have too, is we have an agent on the team, his name's Nick, and he did a lot of uh, production up in Hollywood. And so we're lucky to have him, uh, but he also films weddings and he does stuff like that. So he actually is now doing our, our filming. Like he does a lot of our filming for different things. And how cool is that, that you can have somebody who's actually on your team supporting your team, a member of your team actually providing that, that uh, video back to, to everything. He does a fantastic job. Um, yeah. and then we, we actually just, um, onboarded and I'm super excited, but I met them for real producers. They did our photos, um, of all of our ops, ops team, uh, what a year or so ago. And then they just did some more for me, but lo and behold, they have their real estate license and they're on our team now too. So we're in the works. Liv and I are talking to them about doing photos for the team members. And so we utilize a lot of within. And I just think that that's really great at building that um, collaboration of yeah. your team. I love that. And I think it's important to be able to say, you know, I, I'll speak from an ops perspective. Um, like I, Mark, doing the short form videos is not my jam. Like I cannot produce it to the level. You did, that, you did great. Liv followed me around for a while. Yeah, I did. We still have fun. Yes, we did. did great. But, you know, eventually, um, you know, it was like, you know, I, one, I'm in LA, but two, you know, you, when your team gets to a point that it can support it, you know, I think it's important to bring on people that are really specialized in what, what you need. Um, so yeah. right now we really need that specialization from Nick. I can't provide that. Um, and I'm totally happy saying that. <laughs> I also did the headshots for the team. I'm happy to bow down and say, you know, this is not my jam. Um, yeah. so, and then Crystal, I saw that you asked, um, if there are any classes that you recommend to take some marketing courses. Um, that's a great question. There's, um, I'm probably going to say it wrong. Ooh, Udemy. Does that sound right? Um, it's EU. Let me, I'm a horrible speller. Um, but basically it's a, Udemy. Oh yeah. Yes. Anna's got it. So I know that they have a lot of different courses on there. I am always poking around and seeing if there's cool stuff. Um, unfortunately I get, there's just too much to do. So I don't <laughs> usually end up following through the whole course, but I love learning new stuff. So, um, I think that one's a great one. Also, if you have a Canva account, they have a good learning 101 center, like Gary, our onboarding and attracting manager. He, when he joined, 
um, wasn't super comfortable with Canva. And Gary, you went through that whole back end school thing, right? And I mean, and it kind of shows you the different features. I feel like that's a really important thing, especially encouraging agents to do that. So that they feel comfortable and confident in utilizing, you know, I, I feel like part of my role is helping them learn that stuff so that they can market better. Um, if they can market themselves better, they're marketing our team better, and it's a win-win for everybody. Hey, uh, real quick, uh, who on this call doesn't know who Ryan Serhan is? Okay, so just okay, a few. Everyone. Most most people most people most real estate agents know who he is, and I had this like massive aha. He was speaking at the real one real conference, and he he uh the very beginning of his talk he, he had his like youtube and all these different socials up and how many followers he had on each and between all of them it was like 20 million followers it's like basically he was basically saying i'm the most followed real estate agent on the planet and then later in his speech he said i have a 30 person marketing team and that's i mean yes he's good on camera and he's a good communicator and articulate and possibly good looking but all those things uh, th there there is a common denominator there if you guys want to grow your businesses you have to consider the importance of investing in marketing and siri uh you you've done an amazing job of of not only leading the way but your work with live and and your talent live i'm going to recruit you to colorado i'm just kidding um, <laughs> but no i got, i think everybody should be thinking that and going why and how do we take a step forward and not be so i mean social media is the way video video is the way that's it's it's where everything's headed and if you're not um presenting yourself that way then you're gonna you're gonna become a dinosaur yeah unfortunately mm -hmm. so i think that's a perfect wrap up um i did put in the chat a link to our drive we haven't added stuff in there yet but check back save that link as we have these teams gone wild, we add little nuggets in there for you guys. And then make sure that you um, follow us on Instagram because we are going to be posting some really pretty things. For mm -hmm. you on there too. Yeah, this is, um, I always like to promote the brand royalty team Instagram too. So follow our yeah, team. Yeah, on my, on my profile, um, you can find that link in my profile at the top and, and follow, brand, follow the brand because Liv runs that one. Uh -huh. Nothing yeah. like a little shameless self-promotion you know that's right follow for follow you know people follow. say <laughs> <laughs> all right well thank you Liv for coming on thank you everyone for listening I hope you yeah, guys got thank some you value for, out of that you guys are awesome thank yeah. you for sharing yes. really cool. yeah thanks yeah. everybody thanks for having thank you, you. Great information. thank you guys You're yeah welcome. have a great day